Welcome to Suresh Bhatt classes. We are solving questions on ratio and proportion. Please watch all my videos on this topic as well as quantitative aptitude topics which are useful for all competitive exams like GRE, GMAT, CAT, ACT, SAT and bank exams. In this video, we are going to solve questions on income and expenditure. Our question is the income of A and B are in the ratio 4 ratio 5 and their expenses are in the ratio 3 ratio 4. If each of them save rupees 3000, find the income of B. The given options are option A 24,000, option B 21,000, option C 12,000, option D 15,000. Before solving this question, I request you to subscribe to this channel. As we know, the concept of income and expenditure is that income minus expenses equal to savings or income minus savings equal to expenditure. So we use that concept to solve this question. Here it is given that the ratio of the income of A and B is 4 ratio 5. So we write as 4x upon 5x and their savings are 3000. So we subtract 3000 from the income of both and we get the ratio of their expenses and it is given that the ratio is 3 ratio 4. So this is equal to 3 upon 4. By cross multiplication we solve this equation and we get 4 times 4 is 16x minus 4 times 3000 is 12000 equal to 5x multiplied by 3 is 15x minus 3 times 3000 is 9000. This gives us 16x minus 15x is x equal to 12000 minus 9000 is 3000. And income of B is 5x. So we multiply this by 5 and we get 5x equal to 3000 multiplied by 5 is 15,000. And from the given options, our answer is option D, 15,000. We go to the next question. Our question is the income of A and B are in the ratio 7 ratio 8 and their expenses are in the ratio 8 ratio 9. If their savings are dollar 300 and dollar 400 respectively find income of A. The given options are option A 3600, option B 3200, option C 3500, option D 4000. Before solving this question, I request you to subscribe to this channel. As we know the concept of income and expenditure that income minus saving equal to expenditure and we use that concept to solve this question. Here it is given that the ratio of the income of A and B is 7 ratio 8. So we write it as 7x ratio 8x where 7x is the income of A and 8x is the income of B. Now the saving of A is $300. So we subtract $300 from income of A and saving of B is $400. So we subtract $400 from income of B and this is equal to their expenditure and as given to us the ratio of their expenses is 8 ratio 9. So we equate it to 8 upon 9. Now we find the value of x and from 
that will you will find the income of a so by cross multiplication we get 8x multiplied by 8 is 64x minus 8 times 400 is 3200 equal to 9 times 7x is 63x minus 9 times 300 is 2700 this gives 64x minus 63x is x equal to 3200 minus 2700 is 500 and as we know the income of a is 7x so we multiply this by 7 and we get 7x equal to 7 times 500 is 3500 thus the income of a is 3500 and from the given options our answer is option c we go to the next question our question is the income of a and b are in the ratio 3 ratio 4 and their expenses are in the ratio 4 ratio 5 if they save dollar 200 and dollar 700 respectively find expenses of a the given options are option a 7200 option b 6500 option c 5200 option d 5400 before solving this question i request you to please subscribe to this channel the concept for solving this question is expenses plus savings equal to income so the expenses given to us are in the ratio 4 ratio 5 so we write it as 4x upon 5x plus their savings are dollar 200 and dollar 700 a saves dollar 200 and b saves dollar 700 so we write 4x plus 200 and 5x plus 700 this is equal to their income which is in the ratio 3 ratio 4 so we write equal to 3 upon 4 now we can solve the equation and reach to our answer 4 times 4 is 16x plus 4 times 200 is 800 equal to 3 times 5x is 15x plus 700 times 3 is 2100 this gives 16x minus 15x is x equal to 2100 minus 800 is 1300 and the expenses of a are 4x so we multiply it by 4 and we get 4x equal to 1300 times 4 is 5200 thus the expenses of a are 5200 and from the given options our answer is option c we go to the next question our question is the per day income of a b and c are in the ratio 3 ratio 4 ratio 5 their expenses are in the ratio 3 ratio 5 ratio 6 if savings of b and c are dollar 50 and dollar 90 respectively find the savings of a the given options are option a 60 option b 90 option c 150 option d 120 before solving this question i request you to please subscribe to this channel the given incomes are in the ratio 3 ratio 4 ratio 5 thus a ratio b ratio c is 3x ratio 4x ratio 5x now the savings of b and c are dollar 50 and dollar 90 so we take the income minus saving 
equal to expenses. Thus, income of B is 4x minus saving of B is $50 and income of C is 5x minus saving of C is $90. So, we write 4x minus 50 upon 5x minus 90 and their expenses are in the ratio 5 ratio 6. So, we write 5 upon 6 and from cross multiplication we get 5 times 5x is 25x minus 90 times 5 is 450 equal to 6 times 4x is 24x minus 6 times 50 is 300. 25x minus 24x is x equal to 450 minus 300 is 150. From here we can find the income of B which is 4x. So 4x equal to 150 times 4 is 600 and expenses of B equal to 600 minus 50 equal to 550. Now we have to find the savings of A. We know the income of A is 3x and if we find the expenses of A then we will be able to find the savings of A. So the expenses of B are 550 and from the given ratio the expenses are in the ratio 3 ratio 5 ratio 6 it means 5 parts which is the expenses of B 5 parts equal to 550 giving us 3 part equal to 550 divided by 5 is 110 is 1 part therefore 3 part is 330 this is the expenses of A therefore savings of A income of A is 3x and the value of x is 150 so income is 450 minus expenses of A is 330 this is equal to 120 thus from the given options our answer is option D 120 which is the saving of A. I hope you have understood the solution for finding the savings of A. We go to the next question. Our question is the income of A, B and C are in the ratio 2 ratio 3 ratio 4. Their expenses are in the ratio 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. If savings of A and B are $90 and $195 respectively, find the difference of income of A and C. The given options are option A 450. Option B 225, Option C 300, Option D 250. Before solving this question, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. We solve the question A ratio B ratio C. The income given to us are in the ratio 2 ratio 3 ratio 4. This is income and expenses are in the ratio 3 ratio 4 ratio 5. Now savings of A and B are $90 and $195. Now we have to find the difference between the income of A and C. So from the given data we can make the equation. The income of A is say 2x as it is 2 ratio 3 ratio 4 minus savings is 90 of A upon 3x which is the income of B minus 195 which is the savings of B this is equal to the expenses thus 2x minus 90 
upon 3x minus 195 is 3 ratio 4. So we write equal to 3 upon 4. This gives us by cross multiplication we get 3x multiplied by 3 is 9x minus 195 multiplied by 3 is 585 equal to 4 times 2x is 8x minus 4 times 90 is 360. This gives us 9x minus 8x is x equal to 585 minus 360 equal to 225. Now the difference between the income of A and C is 4x is the income of C minus 2x is income of A. So 4x minus 2x equal to 2x. This is equal to 2 multiplied by 225 is 450. Thus the difference between the income of A and C is 2x which is equal to 2 times 225 equal to 450 and from the given options our answer is option A. Here completes this video. Please do lot of practice from various books to become expert in the topic of quantitative aptitude. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Thanks for watching.